Good morning and welcome as we continue in the Divine Protector series. And the God of Shield discussion continues today with Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. And the Bible says, Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help. And who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. What an exciting verse of encouragement. The last verse of the book of Deuteronomy. And it's filled with encouragement. Israel, a happy people, because their God is the Lord. And this doesn't apply just to Israel. This applies to you and I as well. We have an open invitation by God himself to have this kind of a relationship with him where he can be our shield, where he can be our defense, where he can be our provider in everything that we could possibly need. He says here, O people saved by the Lord. Are you saved today? Have you accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? If you have, you are happy. You are a happy, happy person. There's no reason to be sad. Things of life can maybe get us down from time to time, but the overarching attitude of a person who's been born again, a person who has been saved, is happy. You should be happy because you have a God that loves you, that's real, and that will provide for everything that you need. And if he asks you for anything, he is more than capable and more than just to repay the things that you do for him. You become different in a very obvious way. He says, who is like unto thee? Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like you? Who is like you? Are you different? Because God has saved you, you should be. You should be different. You should be obviously different from everyone else. You don't talk the same. You don't act the same. You don't do the things that you used to do. You don't do the things that people who are without God used to do or are currently doing. Those things are gone. You are a completely different person, and it should be obvious to everyone else. God will defend you against the lies of the people who would try to hurt you, the people who would try to cause you grief and harm. God will defend you. He is a shield of defense. He is a strong shield. Nothing can get by God's defenses. As long as you stay in him and you stay behind him, God can defend you from everything. And the best part about it all is at the end of this life, we get to be with him for eternity. That is something worth being happy about. Now, if you're, if you're not a Christian, if you're watching this and you're not a Christian and you haven't been saved, I want to invite you to accept Christ into your life. Accept this life of happiness. Like I said, you know, things come at us. Family members pass. Job losses happen. Different other things happen in life. But the default setting of someone who has God, who has our God as their God, is happy. If you're missing that today, I want to invite you to accept Jesus Christ into your life. It's as simple as faith, believing 
unreservedly believing that he is God and that he is willing to save you and then repenting of all your sin, asking him to forgive you for all of it and change you into the person that he wants you to be. And as always, we love you and God loves you. We're praying for you. God bless you and have a fantastic week in the Lord.